Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Inscription. Last time we beat the weird old man in the cabin. And we rescued the start, the new game button from his sex dungeon. So, uh, yeah. So, I'm guessing that this is going to be a continuation of the story, or... Uh, I don't really know what to expect, to be completely honest with you. I know uh, the, the, the stoat and the wolf were talking about resetting everything, but not really explaining how or why that would help. So we've succeeded at resetting everything. I, ha, ooh, ow, that hurt, that's fine. Uh, my, my body is a cage, it's fine. So uh, let's, let's see what happens. When we start a new game. Of course, this is very meta Pony Isle kind of idea here. All right, just got the achievement renewal. In the beginning, the world did not know cards. Truly a dark time that would have been. That is until the day the scribes arrived. Okay. Each had their own method of inscription to create cards. Grimora used her quill to inscribe the epitaphs of the dead. Leshy used his wildlife camera to capture beasts. PO3 used a particle scanner to copy the CPUs of robots. And Magnificus used his brush to paint his wizard pupils. With the cards created, the scribes had solidified their power. Until one day, a challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. starting deck to mark your ambition. I was... I did not consent to an RPG Maker game. Your ambition is to replace Grimora and become the Scribe of the Dead. Your ambition is to replace Leshy and become the Scribe of Beasts. Your ambition is to replace PO3 and become the Scribe of Technology. Or... Your ambition is to replace Magnificus and become the scribe of magics. So obviously, like, Leshy is the guy we killed, right? Or he's he's the guy that we fought. Uh. Well, I don't really know what's going to happen here. We can't leave. But yeah, you know. Scribe of Beasts. I, I I like I like green, blue blue, uh, not blue. Green white decks. Yeah yeah. We'll we'll do Scribe of Beasts. Why not? The cards were added to your collection. Can I see my collection? Oh, I can. Okay, so I have a hawk which strikes an opponent directly, even if there's a creature opposing it. Adder, of course. Oh. Okay, I see. So we have seven squirrels. We have two stoats. Five warrens. Three stoats. Two adders. And three hawks. For the deck. For my quote-unquote starting deck. Okay. Sure. Why not? guess is as good as mine. Hello? Woof. I was just about to call it quits out here. Okay. But now that there's a challenger in our midst, it's back to work for me. I should be able to get this bridge fixed in. Full disclosure, it'll take me exactly as long as it takes you to defeat one of the scribes. So, uh, come back later. Okay. Goodbye. What do we 
have here? Salmon. Waterborne. Also, at the end of the owner's turn, Salmon will move in the direction described on the sigil. So they're two twos, and they'll move. I'm not too big on that. So what do we get on here? Or... What? Come back? What are you? You picked the clover leaf from the stem. What am I doing? I'm so confused. I don't think the salmon is better than anything that we had. Well, I mean, the adder. I don't really like the adder. Uh, let's get rid of the adder. There we go. So are there other places we can go? I don't want to go inside one of these buildings because I feel like that's going to start a fight. So what do we do here? We don't have any control. We can't get on the boat. Okay. Well, let's go f go see what one of these buildings are. Two equals three? No. No fish, no pass. Found a card pack inside. You received a beastly card pack. Grizzly, a mantis god. Bullfrog, a practice wizard. Interesting. So they all have different, uh, different effects, or they have different costs depending on what, what they are, or what they do, or what, what set they're from, I guess I should say. So I definitely want to get rid of a hawk for a mantis god, and I should probably also get rid of a warren for a bullfrog. I should probably get rid of a stoat for a grizzly? I don't know. Dang, nabbit! That dang hound got herself lost. Again! You think you're getting past? Think again. Not till I get some proof my girl's alright. About inside. Hello? Stop shaking. The only thing you have to fear is your own inadequacy. Behold me. I am Leshy, the scribe of beasts. I would consider your ambition to replace me a threat if it weren't so laughable. I share a desire for you to challenge me, but first. I know what you're thinking. No, this is not my legendary camera. Not the one I used to create beast cards. This one is a mere replica. You may use it to create photos of the beasts in these woods. My subordinates, the prospector, the angler, and the trapper, they each require a photo before they will consider, consider battling you. Return to me when they are all defeated. Cool. Oh no, not these again. I think I'd be better at this than, <laughs> than not. Two, three, four. Oh no, that's five. So you find a pack. Yeah. Mole man, when an empty space would be struck. All oh, right, this is uh, mole man. And a raven. Not big on mole man, but that's fine. Another mole man? Great. Elk fawn. I don't think elk fawn is bad. Blue mage. When blue mage is played, draw cards equal to the amount of mox cards on your side of the board. Huh. Yeah, I would switch out a stout for an elk fawn, I think. I think. Hi. You 
wish to trade? You don't perchance have any pelts, no? That's disappointing, but I also accept foils. So we're looking for pictures of fish and... The dog? Let's see what's going on down here. You're here. Marvelous. I am Grimora, scribe with the dead. Until quite recently I was disgraced. But I was returned to my former glory with the help of some unlikely friends. If you wish to test your skills against me, you must first prove your wits. You must discern which two marks the final resting place of my lovely ghouls. Found a piece of an epitaph, a reese eaten by a hungry dog. You found a piece of an epitaph, does not hold a grudge. Did somebody leave the AC on? Oh, come on, dude. It's freezing in here. Maybe a heated battle will help. You frozen fear as the words of the great scribe of beasts enter your skull uninvited. Fear not. I only wish to explain to you the deck that you selected. In order to play my cards, sacrifices must be made. The scribe assess your reaction if nothing... You did not seem surprised by this information. Perhaps you need no lessons, but remember that almost anything can be sacrificed. It may bleed, oil, or even marrow. Oh, it may bleed, oil, or even marrow, but it bleeds. Well, you know what to do. Okay, so Draugr can't be sacrificed. When Draugr perishes, a creature inside is released. Banshee will strike an opponent directly even if there's a creature opposing it. That's why. play a squirrel, and we're going to sacrifice the squirrel for the warren. And the turn. Sacrifice everything for the bear. Right there. I want to use it, but I don't know what it does. Skeleton collapses into a pile of bones. Okay. Sure, why not? Attack. And I win. Excellent. You won, but now I'm a bit less cold. Take a pack on the house. You received a deathly car pack. Sacrifice, yeah. So these cost bones to use, it looks like. At the end of the tunnel, Headless Horseman will move in the direction of the scribe. 13 bones, that's a lot of bones. Gravedigger will generate a bone. Sapphire Mox can't be sacrificed. Well, Sapphire Mox is under the board, it provides a blue gem to its owner. Interesting. did beat me, so I gotta fess up. The name's Casey Casey Hobbs. I'm from the tombstone on the left. You find a piece of an epitaph. It reads Casey Hobbs, 1920-1922. You pulled up an epitaph for you. There is the defibrillator failed. Interesting. You found a card in the well. The ink is running from the moisture. When Drowned Soul damages another creature, that creature perishes. Okay. Is there anything else down here? No. Oh 
no, oh no, don't look upon me. Do not snarl or sniff, I beg you. If you wish to battle, please let us get it over with. Sure. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Apparently I have a holy clover. Oh, that let me re-roll. Well, that would have been nice to have. Okay. This is fine. I just win. Why am I putting this much thought into this? I don't know. Oh, I don't just win, because I screwed it up. <laughs> this is fine. Revenant dies. This is fine. Salmon emerges from the deep. I can't do anything. That's fine. It's over. You chewed me out. Now, please look away. Turn your eyes to this card pack instead. Awesome. When another creature you own dies, it's resurrected to life and dies again immediately. When Broken Owl Obol dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. When Energy Bot is played, it provides an energy cell to its owner. I am called Sawyer. The middle stone marks my grave. Please do not go digging up my bones. You found a piece of an epitaph. Sawyer Patel, 1702 to 1778. Yes. Okay. You sniff through the bones and find a card pack inside, okay? An elk, another elk fawn. That's kind of cool. Ghost ship. Oh, and it drops skeletons. That's kind of cool. Wonder if I could get that working in my favor somehow. Hark! A living slice of lemon approaches. Right and yeah, words are words are a thing that exist. Dope. Yep, this is fine. This could be problematic unless I actually get some attacks. A good attacker's in. Mantis God is a good attacker. There we go. Okay, so the skeleton ship was cool, but now that I'm seeing the effect here, I'm less enthused about it because the skeleton doesn't attack until the next turn. And then, in cases like this, the skeleton just dies. Hey, excess damage. Okay. So, excess damage is how we get foils here. Fair enough. Ah, you beat the cop out of me. Firstly, take this. Dead hand. When dead hand is played, discard your hand and draw a nuke hand of four cards. Interesting. Pharaoh's pet is counted as three blood rather than one blood when sacrificed. That's really cool, but it costs bones. When field 
of mice is played, it creates a copy in your hand. Okay, that's really cool. We named Royal, it's the far right tomb. Here's the headpiece. Royal Domingue, Dominguez, 1589 to 1634. Yep. <laughs> Life didn't give me lemon, so I died. Found a piece of an epitaph on the casket, as, among other things. It reads, hit by a falling piece of ice. You found a card pack among the everything. Okay. I have pay one bone to create a skeleton in your hand. Activated effects now. That's neat. After attacking, Revenant perishes. I'm seeing a theme with the undead cards. I, a theme that I like, admittedly. I found a piece of an epitaph. There was no cure. Duh. Duh. What? I'm very confused. What's down here? Piece of epitaph brought down by scurvy. Oh, hello. Hi. You have no offering? I I I guess not. Okay, bye. So what's over here? to trade. Okay. Not yet. Thank you. So let's see here. You were the middle stone. The pirate was the right tomb. So you were this guy. And you were brought down by scurvy. And does not hold a grudge? Casey Hobbs, tombstone on the left. You're cold. Casey Hobbs. Hit by a piece of falling ice. Hold on. This is the only one that really makes sense for this one. Or I guess it could be defibrillator failed. No, but the pirate guy said that he he didn't mind death, right? One of the fires for the sea, the buried under the far right tomb. This is why I get for not paying attention. <laughs> All right, Sawyer. Eaten by a hungry dog. Does not hold a grudge. Defibrillator failed. There was no cure. Marvelous. I believe you have proven your wits adequately. Are you prepared? You will not defeat me. Let's take a look at our deck. I don't like the Mole Man. Uh, it's not aggressive enough. I do like the Elk Fawns. In fact, I'll put an elk fawn in over a hawk. Mantis God is still really good. F 
field mice is really good. I can have more than one uh, than 20 cards, but generally speaking, you don't want to go wild with that. All right, but that will be for next time. Until then, happy gaming. I'm, I don't I think I prefer the Slay of the Spire aesthetic to this one, but we'll see what happens. <laughs>